Hello and good day to you. If you're watching this video, most likely you have just subscribed to M1 Cloud UC. Congratulations on your purchase of the new tool. Now this video is actually here to help you with some basic steps that you need to take before you can enable your tool to do telephone calls. Now first and foremost, if you have already provided your corporate email address to M1 to use this tool, that would be your unique login for the platform. So you should be taking a look at your inbox, whether you've received a mail that says with a header something like, you have been invited to Rainbow. If you have received this, that's good. Click in and you see the mail look something like that with a hyperlink here inside the join button. Now it's very important for you to take note that you do this over on a desktop browser instead of on your mobile browser because it will only work well if you are doing the initialization and onboarding from a mobile browser where you open the email. Now compatible browsers will be Google Chrome, which I'm using now, Microsoft Edge, the latest version, and Mozilla Firefox. You should be prompted to, prompted to enter your password for the very first time. And that shows that your browser is a compatible one. So just take note, password needs to be of at least eight characters long. You need to have a symbol, an upper and lower case, as well as a number. Once you've read, read the terms and conditions, check it and connect. You'll be asked to enter your first name, your last name, and your country. So this will decide which is the media server that you'll be connecting to. You'll be asked to provide your avatar, and that's how people will recognize you on the network. You can upload it or do it later. Once that's all done, you will actually be taken to the application itself already. This dialog, it's actually asking you to add people to your network. Now, these suggested people are most likely people from your organization. So you can choose to add them all or you can just ignore and do that later. Next up will be a prompt to show you whether you want to take a tour to navigate the application just to familiar, familiarize yourself with the UI. Please take time to do that. Now, the changes that I've made at the back end is to issue a license as well as to make this just a bothered user and administrator. So that will take effect only after I log out and re-log in for the very first time. So as you can see, I have this extra menu now that an administrator can access. It's a dashboard for some statistics that you can enjoy. If I click on my company and click on members, I most, probably, I most probably am able to see myself here, just myself, because I have not invited other colleagues. If I click on the invitations tab, and click on the invite button, I can invite other colleagues to join as well. And I can key in more than one email address here. And similarly, they can go through the same onboarding process once they receive that email and click the join button. So I'm just going to come to my own profile here. I can see that administration has been assigned to me, license has been assigned to me. And I go to phone. What I want to do is to assign an extension number to myself. Based on the DDI, I will know which number I would like to assign to myself. Once I click apply, that should take effect on the back end. Now again, a, a change has been made, so I would want to log out and I re-log in again. Then if I go to settings and I click the telephony tab, I'll be able to see that I have computer selected as my current phone. And I'm now able to make outbound PSTN calls. And this is a call that I'm making to the weather station. Although you can't hear the conversation, I just want to go through the controls with you. I can add another person to the phone call and then I can do a transfer or a conference. 
I can mute my microphone in this call. I can put the other user on hold, whereby he'll be hearing a music on hold tone. I can key in the DTMF if it's, if it's an IVR menu, then I need to enter my entry. And if it's a two-party call, I can even do a ad hoc recording. And if I end the call, I should be prompted where I want to save this recording, on the cloud or on my PC. So yes, this is what I would like to actually run through with you. Now that you're able to make telephony phone calls, you should be able to enjoy your tool on the web browser. On the mobile app, once you've done the onboarding and initialization, on the PC, you will be able to download an app via the App Store back at the Rainbow Help Center or just via your Play Store or your App Store and you will be able to log in based on the credentials that you provided during your onboarding and you will be able to use the same tool on your mobile phone. I'd like to show you this web page. It's actually the Rainbow Help Center. The page is on support.openrainbow.com. Just for your information, Rainbow is the name of the software behind M1 Cloud UC. Over here, there are many detailed guides on how to use several of the features that you may or may not use. But I think most importantly, it's pretty intuitive. You can just search for a keyword on the help that you need. For example, you can also download the thick client or the application for computer based on the various operating systems that you have. Thank you very much for your time.